A day after flames and smoke clouded Main Street, sending East Hartford into shock, the small plane lingered as a pile of debris, with investigators digging to determine what led to the fiery crash Tuesday afternoon. Information indicates that this plane crash was intentional. East Hartford police assisting the National Transportation Safety Board and the FBI as they lead the investigation. No situation is being ruled out. No circumstances are being ruled out. Sources telling Fox 61 suicidal tendencies caused the crash, impacting the two people inside. A flight instructor named Arian Pravala, according to sources, who also identified the student as 28-year-old Fariz Freicht. One of the people in the airplane actually entered our lobby and entered the lobby and was injured. The flight instructor, the only person police say made it out alive. He really was in shock. The Piper PA-34 Seneca crashed right in front of the building in which about 85 people were working at the time. The mayor telling Fox 61, based on the time of day, around 3.40, and the location, this could have been much worse. Main Street, East Hartford, is a state road. There's significant traffic. We have thousands of employees on the Pratt & Whitney campus that exit onto Main Street, and we have thousands of people that travel to Goodwin College on a daily basis. The fact that there weren't more casualties as a result of this incident is, is, is pretty amazing, quite frankly. And as East Hartford works to return to normal, witnesses say it will be hard to shake the sights and sounds from their minds. Slow-mo, it looked like something out of the movies. All of a sudden, I just heard this massive explosion. The building shook, the lights just exploded. Um, I run outside to see what was going on, look up Main Street, and you just see a ball of fire. I mean, it was incredible.